Truth is often understood as a set of propositions, a formulation or an idea that people can somehow sit to one side and say that thing is the truth. But there's got to be more to it than that, more to it than a set of propositions that someone can objectively sort of quantify. Truth, as it is presented in the scripture, is about a person, the person of God. And a person who comes into the truth is someone who engages God and enters into that truth through an intimate relationship with God through Jesus Christ. This relationship is consequently empowered and enabled by the Holy Spirit. So we can see that to enter into truth or our understanding of the truth, it necessarily involves uh, an engagement with the Holy Spirit and an empowering of the Holy Spirit. As such, it's not simply just leading us to a propositional understanding about truth and about God of that truth, but a lived experience, a reality that is practiced where truth is not something that is just known, but is something that is felt, that is embodied, that is in practice and lived out. And when it is lived out, then it is most fully known. So the truth then is not something that you simply write down in a, in a, on a piece of paper. It's something that you can, yes, acknowledge intellectually, but something that you must also practice and live out to fully appreciate its gravity and its meaning. If you're interested in understanding the truth, you're a Christian who's seriously interested in it, then my new book, Spirit and Truth, is possibly something you should read.